Hello everyone, everyone, everyone in YouTube land. We lovers are back here as always. All right. Uh, I went to Best Buy. Uh, not in my area, about an hour away. Um, another town to play Mario Odyssey and Metroid Samus Returns and the Nintendo World Championships. Um, I guess I'll talk about the Nintendo World Championships first, I guess, because, I mean, that was like the main thing, I guess. But they also had demos of Odyssey, Mario Odyssey and Metroid Samus Returns. So yeah, this is a public event, anyone can go if you if they do it in your area, if your Best Buy is doing it. Best Buy in my town, right down the road over here, doesn't do anything special. <laughs> they don't do anything special at all. Um, like tournaments or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm lucky enough I get to go over there and do that. It was really cool. It was awesome. Um, hopefully I can do it more. But... I guess to talk about the Nintendo World Championships. I don't take this very seriously, the Nintendo World Championships. I know people do, because they want to go and win or whatever. I just play games for fun. You know what I mean? I'm not a competitive person by nature. I'm just not. I just play games for fun. So It was Mario Kart 7, as you know. If you went on their site, it's on there. You, the adults play Bowser. They're on the GBA Bowser Castle. And then the little kids are Mario and Luigi's Mansion, I believe. Which I didn't know. I didn't know what character the kids play or whatever. I was like, okay. But the adults play as Bowser on the GBA Bowser Castle, so it was great. It was fun. Um, I did bad, though. I only played twice. I guess I could have went around, did a little bit more, and tried hard enough. But like I said, I'm not really a competitive person. I just wanted the free stuff that you got. So I got a Mario pen. They scanned your QR code and whatever. And then proof that you are on my Nintendo and show them your phone. So, and yeah, it's Mario pen. It says my Nintendo on it. You have to be a My Nintendo thing. And then I got three posters. Mario Odyssey one is upstairs. I <laughs> have it hung up. And then I got the Mario Kart 7 one. After you're done playing Mario Kart 7 your first time through. And it has like a gold thing. All of them, all three of them have like this gold thing. This is Nintendo World Championships 2017 on it. Metroid Sounds Returns one. I got to hang out both of these. <laughs> but I have so much posters. So. But yeah, like, I'm, like I said, the Mario Odyssey one is hung up. I guess I could have showed it in here, but yeah. And also my wrist straps. I saved my wrist straps too. I got two of them because I only went through two times. But like I said, yeah, I did bad on the Mario Kart 7 thing. And I could have tried a little harder. But like I said, I'm not just like I'm not a competitive person. I just, just you know, I'm not. I'm just not. So um, the main thing was playing Mario Odyssey and this Metroid Summon Returns. I guess I'll talk about Metroid first, I guess, because that was the first one I played. Ten minutes each. So Metroid Summon Returns is fun. From what I play, I guess, it's only 10 minutes, so... But from what I played, it's really good. Uh, I have no problem with the controls. I know some people were standing in line before I played it, said the controls were kind of confusing. And then I played it for myself, and then I... It's not bad at all. Like, it controls... And Metroid is... It's not trying to be like Metroid. It is Metroid. <laughs> it's really Metroid... I'm sure it's going to be different than Metroid 2 in Game Boy, but it's... Like, it's literally Metroid. It's almost unrecognizable compared to the... To the original game on Game Boy, like this is, you can call it a new game, pretty much practically. So it's it's great. It controls great. Hold up to shoot up like that. Do all that. Turn to morph ball. It, it's it's a fucking Metroid. But I'm not. I can't let go of that art style. The art style is a little weird. I wish it was pixel art style. You know, instead of 3D, 2D, it just doesn't look right to me. But I'll get used to it. I'll live with that. Um, because the game's fun. Like, it really is. I just, like, bouncing on the wall and, like, grabbing a grab, gra not bouncing on the wall, but, like, jumping on the wall and then, like, grabbing on the ledges and doing that. It's, it's just fucking sweet. It's really cool. That's, like, just a sliver of the fucking game. Like, it's gonna be so fucking cool. The backgrounds are awesome, though. I'm not gonna lie. The backgrounds are really cool. So, yeah, had fun with that. Moved on. Then I, after that, I got my poster from Metroid. Played Mario Odyssey. My thoughts on Odyssey is, it's great. It controls is it, it, it controls exactly how I expected to to control. Um, I played with Joy Con separated, so I don't know if that's how I'm gonna play it when I play it at home when I get the game. Um, I'll play it. Pl I've been playing my Switch handheld a lot. I'll play it on my TV too. Um, of course, I'm gonna play it on my TV. I just don't know which way I'm gonna play it. Maybe Pro Controller. We'll we'll see. So or Joy Cons and the grip or whatever. I'll play whatever way I want to play. So. Um, but yeah, I only played on New Dock City. There was that, and then it was the Mexican Day of the Dead level. So I didn't want it, I don't want this 
I don't want to get spoiled for the game. I know a lot of people are like, whoa, you don't want... Why? What? what? Who cares about spoilers? But I do. I fucking do. Uh, <laughs> it's a brand new fucking 3D Mario game. I don't want to get spoiled. Bosses or levels, so I don't want to get... No. So I just played New Dock City, the main level. I call it the hub world, even though it's not really a hub world, because there was no hub world in this game. It was confirmed. So, yeah, I just bouncing, just jumping around and jumping on taxis and throwing my hat. Even though some people were saying throwing your hat, throwing your hat and turning it, spinning it, is really difficult. Um, it's nothing like the spin attack in Galaxy where you're just spinning, where it just feels natural. This is a little bit weird, I'm not going to lie. Because it is a little bit, it is, there's a little bit of a learning curve, even though I, I was seeing that when I was playing. But I had no problem with it. Like, it wasn't really a game-breaking thing for me. So, yeah, you spin your attack, you spin it around. But I spinned it, spin through the hat, came back at me, jumped on the hat, and he jumped. So, it's great. The mechanics work fucking awesome. I just love the way, he, with the way he runs. And his hat's, like, bouncing on his head as he's running. And, like, it's just, it's so cool. And I did a little bit of jump roping <laughs> with, like, the realistic-looking characters in it. It's just really, really Japanese. The whole game is just very quirky. It's just a very quirky-looking game. It's just so cool. Uh, very different from Mario. Like, it's just gonna take people to get used to, I guess, with the realistic-looking characters and the T-Rex and all that. Like, it's just... It's just going to be great. The whole game is going to be awesome. But it's just a little bit of learning curve with the hat thing and the turning. Um, that's one thing. That's a little bit weird about it. But at the same time, it's not bad, though. Like, like I said, it, it controls exactly the way I expected it to control. When I was watching it, other people play, I was like, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, um, Like I said, I'm, I'm just not sure if I'm going to play with Joy-Cons separated. Like on the TV, it might either Pro Controller or Grip. So, yeah, that's what I played. At Best Buy, Metroid, Mario Odyssey, and the tournament thing with Mario Kart 7. So, and I got some free stuff. Wish I could show my Mario Odyssey poster, but I haven't hung up. So, but comment down below if you went to any of this, if you went to this event, if it was available in your area by your Best Buy, if your Best Buy was doing it. Comment down below on your thoughts on Mario Odyssey and Metroid Summons Returns. So, I want to know what you thought about both of those games, and especially Mario Odyssey. So, anyways, peace out. More random videos coming soon. Later. Bye.